There are some questions that you may have around listening to divine guidance. We're gonna begin with understanding divine guidance. I've generated three questions that you may have, and I wanna give you the answers to, so to help you settle into and prepare you to listen to divine guidance. Ease the worry or anxiety that may come up around surrender and letting divine in. All right, so we're gonna begin with understanding divine guidance. A question that you may have is, how do I know the difference between my own thoughts and divine guidance? Divine guidance is often felt as clear, peaceful, aligned with your higher self. It tends, notice where it enters in for me, if I'm overthinking something, it is coming from within my brain and inside my mind. And I am literally like, I'm sitting here, what is this? Versus divine feels like it's it's coming in from a higher energy, a higher realm and, and coming to me and through me. It has a sense of knowing or calm. Whereas my own thoughts might be clouded with fear or ego again with the overthinking so divine guidance is more like a a gentle nudge a whisper a feeling of yes i can do this uh, there's an inner resonance while personal thoughts are often driven by logic and emotion the second question that i have generated is what does divine guidance sound like or feel like? Is it the same for everyone? Divine guidance is different for everyone. It is listening to your divine guidance. So you have your own way of receiving and you'll cover that in the receiving portion of listening to divine guidance. It's the third step, allow, ask, receive. So you're gonna figure out and feel into your own natural way and your own natural flow of receiving divine guidance. But divine guidance can appear in many different forms. It could be an inner voice. There's a feeling or knowing, maybe there's synchronicities or signs, numbers, or in dreams. But again, it's not the same for everyone. It's key for you to learn to recognize what it feels like for you. And again, there's questions and there's practices that you can do in the receiving portion of listening to divine guidance. And it, it takes time and it takes practice. The more that you can practice it, the more progress you make, the more confident you feel in listening to your own divine guidance. Third question around understanding divine guidance is how do I recognize when I'm truly receiving divine guidance versus when I might be overthinking or projecting my desires. So divine guidance typically feels grounded and clear while overthinking may feel scattered and anxious and all around. Again, there everyone receives differently, but I have heard over, over and over from clients and people who I have worked with for the last 12 years on this topic is that they are very grounded and clear. They know there's a knowing of what to do next. So when you receive divine guidance, it usually isn't laced with urgency or fear, but instead carries a sense of peace and calm even if it's challenging. Projection often comes from a desire to control a specific outcome, whereas divine guidance comes from a place of surrender. And remember, surrender is not giving up. It's not waving that, that flag. It's not giving up. It is allowing, letting in divine, that surrender. We'll go more into that. 